Oh shit, uh, 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 here we go. Uh, oh shit, yeah, bitch, you better, you better dip in ho. Uh, oh shit, uh, yeah, uh. I'm on the dance floor, I don't give a fuck I'ma take that dick in, take it out of my butt I got a juicy ass and a big ass I got no this weight, I just won't stop I'm not Korean, but I get super head I'ma choke on that dick until I'm dead I'm a nasty hoe, I'm a freak bitch Come on, me boys, y'all watching that addiction shit Ow, yeah, dip it, dip it low And bring it up slow Hey y'all, you know, I wasn't trying to drink a lot. Like I just wanted a little buzz, just a little something, something, you know, just to get me, you know, a little social, a little active, just a little something. But it was calling me. It was call after the first drink. I said, that's enough. And then I was just looking at the bottle. It was just, it was saying, uh, drink me, drink me. So bitch, I had to drink. So if I seem a little sloppy, I mean, ain't nothing you all ain't used to, but if I see a little sloppy, I mean, you know, I'm trying to get it together. You know, I'm trying to be, you know, consistent, professional with this thing, you know, you know, but bitch, when the liquor calls, it calls. We got to hurry up with this show because right after this show, baby, right after this show, I'm going to go shave my ass. Am I the only one that have to like shave my ass every other day? Like just here, it just grows and grows. Like I just don't want to shave. I don't want no body hair. God, can you stop making my the hair on my body? I don't want it. I don't need. I, you gotta shave between your ass. Like I cannot stand a hairy bottom. Shout out to all you bottoms out there. There's a lot of you all who got that hair and yeah, that is disgusting. You need to shave that nasty shit between your ass. I'm not eating your butt and you got hair between me. I don't care if it's a shave that hair between your ass. You need to shave that hair off your body and you females out there, you need to shave that hair off your pussy. It is disgusting. Hair belongs on your head. This is my opinion. I mean, some of you all may disagree. I mean, some of you all may like your men's with hair between your ass. Well, I don't. I don't like the hair. I like the hair on the head. All that. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't like hair between your ass because I'm ass when I'm looking at ass. I'm over it. Shave that ass. So me, when the nigga eat my ass, oh he ain't got work. I shaves. I shaves his ass. And I get the good, the good uh, razors that that it, they blue, Gillette, cause I used to get the CVS con. The CVS con really don't shave the way I need to be shaved. I just got put onto the Gillette razors. So that the, the Gillette razors, Sister Patterson, they shave. Did I say hey y'all? It's Bimbo Wine House. I don't know if I did. I told you I'm a little sloppy tonight. <laughs> sloppy toppy. But hey y'all, it's Bimbo Wine House. And welcome to the Bimbo Wine House Addiction Show. Um, I'm Bimbo Wine House. Text me. Don't call me, bitch. And a walka walka and an ew ew. And I mean that. Text me. I do not. We are in the era of people. We don't talk on the phones no more. Unless it's. Unless it's really like important shit. Like, you know, uh, grandpa just died. We need to talk. Uh, bitch, I just hit the lotto. Alright, what's good, girl? But don't text, don't call me. Do not t text me, bitch. I'm sorry, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know. I, I like, I, I, I need to start getting back talking on the phone because I'm trying to go back to the 90s era. We didn't do the texting in the 90s. We had the beepers. So I'm trying to get back to the 90s era, but. I, I I just don't like talking on the phone. <laughs> Hi. Like I don't talk. The only place I really talk is here. This is why I'm back doing this because I need someone to talk to. Like I literally don't talk to nobody. So you all is who I talk to. I mean, me and my um bestie Chinchilla, we talk here and there, but it's through text. I'll call him like in situations that goes on. 
with me out here and I need to tell someone like what the fuck has happened to me I call him up you know but other than that like we're texting so that's where I get my uh, new slate slogans saying text me don't call me bitch text me don't call me bitch you know walk walk up in the air I, did I tell you all I got some tacos after this show is done I'm gonna eat um, I got me some tacos and I, I posted it on my Instagram I told you all you know I haven't um I have not had red meat in like three four months you know um you know I'm trying to you know ew, ew. um and someone said oh bimbo you should try a turkey meat no bitch whoever you are hey girl if I'm going to have tacos, I'm going to have tacos. I don't want no turkey tacos. I want my beef tacos with my lettuce, okay? I'm not having no damn turkey tacos. It's not like, I'm not that deep into this whole healthy lifestyle. Like, I just wanted my stomach to be, you know, you know, yeah. Because I was tired of getting up in drag and looking like I'm eight months pregnant. I was like, oh, the stomach got to go. So I had to, you know, just flatten her a little bit. I'm not trying to get all the muscles but I'm a little saddened though, guys, because with this uh, weight loss, somewhat, it's not like a big weight loss. Like, I lost a little weight. I lost my ass. I lost my ass. Like, I used to have some cakes back there. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's still, you know, a little something, something. It doesn't look like, you know, Wendy Williams' ass or, you know, the bitches, you know, SpongeBob ass. But I lost my ass because I put on these pants, you know, I love to wear. And I'm, and I took, you know, you take the other mirror and you look back to see what it's looking. I was like, where is my ass? So now I'm understanding why everyone is saying you need to build muscle before you lose weight. Now it, it makes sense. But I was reading up on, um, on the Google. They was like, once it's gone, you, you're going to have to work out to get it back. So, I mean, don't get me wrong, I still get my men's, because men's fuck you, if you ain't got no ass and you got one of them fake asses, it don't matter what you got, bitch, and the niggas horny, niggas horny. But, um, what am I talking about? Oh, my ass. Um, um, yeah, I lost my ass, though, you always like, where's my, I mean, like I said, it's still something back there, but it's not like what, it was like, juicy. So, now, every day, I, I do these things. You know, because I will not put nothing in my ass. It's not that deep. Whatever ass you have, you be happy with it. It is what it is, okay? Because it is what it is. But, you know, hey, I mean, if you want to go get the fake ass, and in five years down the line have issues, because currently Cardi B is having some issues, who we are going to talk about in the topics that's hot. Along with Cardi B, we are talking about Wendy Williams, new man plus there are more thefts happening in Dominican Republic more people dying child down to the ground we're gonna talk about that plus, uh, plus uh, Apollo Nida oh fine ass he's back down to the jail he's back in jail uh, we're gonna talk about T.S. Madison versus the thug Mrs. Kaya who I've just I just I love Kaya. I don't. I, I'm starting to love her. I mean, I love her, but I'm starting to love her more. We're gonna talk. Plus, Nicki Minaj is back. Like, you could have just stayed where you was at, girl. Um, of course, we're gonna talk about Cardi B. Plus, we have. Sis, I'm starting to. I, I have to change up the format because I put a question out there and I read the comments, which I which I try not to read, but. Thank you for you guys uplifting comments. You know, I see a few here and here. You know, hey. But uh, I try not to read comments no more on social media because people are idiots. But, you know, when I get drunk, I just peek. And, and uh, you know, but thank you for you guys. But can you all answer the Sister Patterson's question, uh, coochie question of the day? You know, coochie question of the day. So I have a good one. So hopefully you all can answer this one. Because I ain't seen now one of them answer the question, Sister Patterson. Or oh, did you all not watch the full show, bitch? Okay, you're going to watch this whole show, honey. It's entertaining from beginning to end. And you want to watch the whole thing because you might miss something. It's not like other shows where it gets boring after a while, child. From beginning to end on this show, bitch. Okay, I does this. I does this. So, 
we got uh, Sister Patterson's coochie question of the day and much, much, much more to talk about. So with that being said, it's time for the topics that's hot. Say it again. Topics that's uh, hot. Uh, yeah. Topics that's hot. For that, y'all ain't ready for that. Well, I'll give the I'll give y'all that later on in the show. That's Sister Patterson's coochie song of the day. Um, you'll get that later. But but it's time for the topics. That's hot. They're hot, honey. And I'm hot. I'm very hot. Mm. Are you all ready for the summer? <clears throat> I am. Like, I've never, like, I've always had a full summer in New York. I've never had a full summer in Ohio. So, we're going to see what that's about. Huh. We're going to see, child. Hopefully, I'm alive to see it, honey. The way this, the, the way this world is going. Anyway, um, <laughs> how was everyone's weekend? This past weekend, you know, what, what, whatever day is your weekend, because you know, folks work jobs and their, you know, their weekends is Tuesday and Wednesday or Wednesday and Thursday. You know, you know how you work your jobs and your Fridays is not your Fridays, like your Monday is your Friday, your Wednesday is your Friday. I was every one weekend. Um, me, I met about, I met about what? I met about nine dudes this weekend, but y'all don't care, I'm a hoe. Your baby father's a hoe too, bitch. I don't care. I'm a hoe. It is what it is. But you live once. Yes, I met about nine dudes. Um, um, yeah, I met about uh, nine dudes this weekend. It's 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 so interesting meeting different type of DL dudes. They all they all they all come with something different. Every everyone's everyone has their own personality. Every, it, it, it's, it's quite interesting me and these these men out here because everyone is it, it's but my free uh, but my favorite was my last one that saved the best for last baby um we met at the uh, high school down the block for me uh, a lot of you all, now I don't have a car I don't know if someone uh, inboxed me or something I don't have a car I rent cars out here um, I need to get a car and in the next show, which is going to be next week, I'm going to need you all's help with the down payment, bitch. Yes, I, I'm sick of renting these cars. So when it's time to take it back, you, you're over it. So I need to give me, but I rent cars out here. They're cheap. I go to uh, one of these little car places, rent, you know, for the weekend, have some fun. Um, but yeah, I rent cars. I don't have, I, I, I don't have my actual car yet, but hopefully by my birthday, with you all's help. Um, but no, um, yeah, so we, we met at the, um, the high school, cause I think he lived with his baby mama, so he can't he can't hold, so I can't hold, so we you know we, have, we make it do what it do. So we met at the hotel, I mean at the um high school, and maybe when I tell you he was fine, and what I loved is that he was the actual dude in his pictures, cause you all I all told you about the catfishing that goes on out here in my last show, but this one he was the, he didn't show me his face, but his body was enough. Cause sometimes your body can make up for that face, honey. All right. So his body was on. I was like, please let this be the guy in his. So I was at the uh, high school first, and then he pulled up and he got out. He didn't have his shirt on. It was like six o'clock in the morning, so it was like 
halfway light, but it wasn't like full light. So he, I thought, like, oh, oh, oh. So I was in the back seat waiting, baby. I put the oil all over my body. I had my fake titties going. <coughs> and he got out and he, he was sagging. Oh, I love when them dudes sag. That's another thing that got me out here. These, these, they, in, in the south, in the west, wherever the fuck I'm at, they love to sag. They just walk around with their pants hanging out. And I, I just be staring. I just, I don't care. Then, then they get mad when, when, when they see a, a gay man staring. You got your pants down. Who, who else is going to look at that? Obviously, you want a gay person to look at that. Or you want to run them down. Oh, man, I'm staring. You want your boys. No, bitch, I'm staring. You got your ass out. I'm staring. They, oh, pull your pants up. Pull your pants up. No, you keep them pants down. And shit, if you can make them go lower, go low. I want to see that ass in the dick. So he got out his, he got out the car and sagged. And I was like, oh, oh, wait, mm, mm. So he got in the back seat, and um, you know, I recorded it. Like I only got the auto. I don't, I don't have like the the, the actual, you know. I keep the auto because I told you all in my old videos what I like to do. I don't need to see the visual. I just need to hear. That's why I always said if you have to be deaf or blind, I'd rather be uh, blind than deaf because I, I I could put my imagination to work. I just need to hear. Oh. So I recorded it, of course, but he got in the car, honey, and as soon as he got in, I need to stop being so damn aggressive. I have to forget that I'm a drag queen or a cross dresser, and I'm supposed to be a lady. You know, these niggas get in the car, and I'm like, yo, son, suck my dick. Let me suck it. Like, I need to be more like, I remember back in the days when I used to live in Mount Vernon, and I used to chill with this DL dude. He used to always tell me, yo, chill out. I'm the fucking man. You supposed to be the bitch. I need to just, you know, just to, well, sigh. I'm just, uh, I'm just, cancers, we just like to take control. You lay your ass down and let me do what the fuck I want to you. I gotta sometimes just, you know, be a lady. Anyway, he got in and I love to kiss. I love to kiss. If... I try to kiss you and you block me, I'm turned off. Get the fuck out. I don't, I don't want to suck your dick no more. I don't want to do nothing. Once a person turned down my kisses, to me it feels like, I mean, don't get me wrong. There's some people who don't like the kiss. I get that. I understand that. But no, you're going to kiss me. I don't give a fuck who you are. You, If I go in for a kiss and you, I'm over it. You better do something to turn me on quick. Because if you don't, get out. I got to go pick up my cousin. Sorry. Bye. So, he kissed me, and that, once you kiss me, I, I'm in love with you. We ain't got to do nothing, though. I love when a person kisses. I love to kiss. Tongue kiss. Spit in my mouth. Let me spit in your mouth. So, he kissed me, and then at that point, I grabbed his dick, and I started jerking it, and I said, spit on your dick. So, he spit on his dick, and I started sucking it, and, oh, uh, and then after the kissing, what turns me on more is when I take their heads and just make them suck me off. And he started sucking me. Oh, I, that, you, you want me over, baby. We ain't got to do nothing else. You kissed me and you sucked me. I'm done. Baby, he sucked me so motherfucking good. I'm just upset because we should have did more. Like, I think it was like early. We was trying to rush it because he was like really nervous. And I should have made him eat my ass. I should have ate his. I just felt like we should have did more. So after, um, um, um. Uh, I'm trying to think. After we did that, I just made him fuck me, and I made him jerk me off while he was fucking me, and he nutted, and I nutted, and uh, I said, okay, this is why I moved to Ohio. <laughs> this is what got me here. Shit like this. But it was like, uh, and... It's been, that was what, Sunday going into Monday morning because I had to take the car back on Monday. And it's like, I ain't hear from him since. What has it been? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Because after we, he was he, he sat there for like a minute like, oh, what the fuck did I just do? Like he, after we finished, he nutted, I nutted. I'm like, all right, uh, what are you about to do? He was just sitting there like, what the fuck did I just do? Nigga, 
you fucked me and I sucked your dick and you sucked Mars. That's what happened here. And it was good. And I hope I see his ass again. Cause him, I will text him back. I'll wait two weeks and then I'll text him. If he don't hit me up, oh well. On to the next. <sighs> Alright, so um I'm sorry, I'm just I'm just thinking. That was some hot shit. Y'all don't understand how fine he was. He was fine. Just the way I like. The only thing he needed was some dreads. But th 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 that was fine. That was fine. His body was enough. and his He, he wasn't ugly. It's just like I like dreads. I, uh, Down to the ground. Alright y'all. Let's talk about these celebs. And let's talk about some shit that's going on. Alright. So it was just the last show that you know... I was talking about what's going on in Dominican Republic. All right, another week, Sister Patterson, another dead American up in the Dominican Republic. Listen to me. I don't know if you heard about the latest person that done died up in the Dominican Republic, but uh, they're saying a yoga teacher uh, dragged out to see is the latest to die in DR. A 42-year-old yoga teacher from Pennsylvania died this week when she was swept out the sea in the Dominican Republic. This makes the eighth American tourist death reported in the country in recent weeks. Shirley Miller's body was recovered by a local fisherman Wednesday after she vanished from a beach the day before in the Dominican Republic. Uh, they're reporting the mom of three went out for a swim Tuesday near the coastal uh, of Puerto Plata before she was dragged out the sea by a rip current and carried more than two miles from the coast, according to reports. Miller owned a studio named Shirley Yoga in uh, Pennsylvania, where she also taught classes that aim to help others to know and heal their bodies. She says she previously studied in New York, Miami, Orlando, Mexico, and the DR. Another local studio where she taught, uh, they post on their Facebook confirming her death. Our beloved friend and teacher Shirley Miller uh, is dead. Friends and uh, students took to social media to mourn the teacher's death. Uh, j just heartbreaking. All right, you all got the point. Um, damn. Another person is dead down to the DR. I have nothing to say. But to all you, stay your ass out to Dominican Republic. Stay your ass out. You take your ass down there to the Miami. Or go to Atlanta City. Or go to a damn pool, bitch. Or get in your fucking shower, okay? It's not safe in the DR. And. I am very suicidal. Yes, I'm suicidal. But I'm not going to kill myself. But I'm suicidal in different ways. Um. Yes, I'm like it's not. This is really nothing left on this earth. Like I'm over it. I'm really over it. Like I'm suicidal. I, but I'm not going to fucking take pills or jump off a bridge. Like like I said, I'm suicidal in other ways. So I was thinking maybe I need to go to the DR. But it would just be my luck. That I'll get to the DR and everyone is so nice to me and they treat me so nice. I ain't gotta worry about nothing. And my ass gonna end up right back in America. Like, ain't, I just had a nice vacation. It's the ones like this who are expecting to go over to the DR to have a good time and they, they dead, honey. Uh. I don't know what to say. I mean, stay your ass out the DR. Go, go to a damn pool, all right, and act and pretend that you in DR, cause they killing the motherfuckers over there, honey. I don't know what's going on. They killing the motherfuckers. And speaking of DR, our good, 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 good girlfriend T. S. Madison. <sighs> Let's talk, child. T.S. Madison, you know I love you. 
You know I love me some T.S. Madison. But sometimes, you, you're supposed to be a lady. But sometimes you just act like the big fat man that you are. Yeah, I said it, bitch. Sometimes T.S. Madison, she just acts like the big fat man that she is. You know how a big fat man, he try to just act so <sighs> relax. Like I said, I love T.S. Madison, but I cannot stand them big old fat funky men that just try to be bullies. I love T.S. Madison, again. All right, um, and shout out to Kaya, and I understand that Kaya now has a website, her KayaDougMrs.com, and now Kaya, can, she can say what she wants without worrying about being allegedly shut down by T.S. Madison, um, allegedly, you know T.S. always gets Kaya pages, this is all alleged, she always get, uh, Kaya Page is sh shut down. You know, it took me a while to like Kaya. It really took me a while to like Kaya. Um, but she kind of reminds me of myself, actually. You know, she sits in front of her computer. She don't need a million other people to help her to keep her show going. She's very entertaining. She sits down in front of... Oh. She sits down in front of her computer and she does it herself. She don't need weekly hosts to help her keep her show going. Like I said, I love T.S. Madison. Um, but what I can't stand sometimes with folks is that we all do this whole gossip blogging, video blogging, whatever you want to call it. You know, we all talk about people. People talk about us. We're going to talk about folks. I just don't understand why folks get so damn sensitive when you're being talked about. I don't give a damn what people say about me. You can say whatever. I'm not going to go right uh, to YouTube. Oh, this person is bullying me. Oh, this person is... Uh, I don't give a fuck. I understand I talk about folks, you're going to talk about me. This is how it works. Um, like I said, I love T.S. Madison, and I'm not fake. And I'm going to say what I want to say. And this is not bullying. So don't try to get my page shut down, because I'm not trying to bully you. I'm just speaking what I want to speak. And what I want to speak is that uh, we are seeing that all these uh, transgenders and these trannies, they are, they are out here getting killed. They are out here getting murdered, shot up, whatever the case may be. And T.S. Madison keeps going on her Instagrams and on her Facebook. Y'all need to y'all need to protect yourself. Y'all need to carry guns. Y'all need to understand something, T.S. Madison. I get what you're saying, but you gotta understand. Everyone was not born to be a killer. We were all not born to be killers. That's that's just what it is. Furthermore. You act like you know you're going to get murdered. Like, I'm pretty sure these transgenders or who, these trannies, whatever, they wasn't expecting to get killed. You keep, oh, y'all need to carry this. Motherfucker, if trade is going to get you, he's going to get you. You ain't going to have time. Furthermore, she keeps her gun in her damn, she lets everyone know where she keep the gun. So, if you're meeting somebody and y'all in the middle of having a conversation. If he goes out and go back, blah, 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 when do you have time to go in here and pull... Whatever your gun is out, like like be like be real, honey. Like I understand we all need to protect ourselves. Uh, you know we all need self defense. I understand that, but I'm pretty sure if these, the, the people that were killed, if, if if they had the chance to to defend themselves, they wouldn't. You keep oh y'all need to do this, y'all need to do that. No 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 no. Baby T S Madison, God forbid something happened to you. But if somebody, if one of these trades is gonna get you, they're gonna get you. Okay? You could just be walking. He could just pop out of the damn, damn tree and go pow pow pow. You up here? I don't know. That gunner and save you then, sis. Do you get what I'm saying, Sister Madison? Like when we we don't know when something bad is going to happen to us. Yes, protect yourself. Yes. Carry whatever you need to carry, but you sitting up here telling people, "Ah, oh, Miss Thing, if something's going to happen to you, God forbid, it's going to happen. You don't know when one of these little dumb boys you're gonna meet, one of these little little retarded DL dudes you're gonna meet. You can be having a normal conversation with the dude, and out of nowhere, he could just pull his gun out or whatever and just go pow pow pow, and you up here, oh, Miss Thing, you need to protect yourself." And nah, 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 nah. Like I say, I understand all that. We do need to, everyone needs to protect herself, not just the trend. People out here getting murdered all the time. But I'm pretty sure all these folks that are out here getting murdered, if they had the chance to protect, they wouldn't. 
You don't know when someone dumb is going to do something to you. So all you trans shit is out here. Yes, protect yourself. But, like I say, you don't know when something bad is going to happen to you. You don't. You really don't. She, I, 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 I mean, hey. Um. Um. Also, you gotta trust your instincts. You gotta trust when your body is feeling some way. Like I was actually going to meet someone a couple of months ago, and only one person knows about this story. I called one person up, and that was uh, my friend Chinchilla. He's the only one that knows about this. And as I was following the dude in his car, I just started to like feel some way. Sometimes your sometimes your instincts let you know. So I'm not gonna tell you that story until next week. I'll tell you all that story next week. I'm gonna write that down to tell you all this story. But sometimes you know when something doesn't feel right. Your body sometimes lets you know this this ain't right. So you know sometimes you gotta follow your instincts and you gotta protect yourself. At the end of the day, you just gotta protect yourself. But T.S. Madison, she's just too much. Sometimes I just... Ugh. But I still love T.S. Madison. Don't get it wrong. I still support T.S. Madison and everything she's doing. But she just act like a damn... The man that she is sometimes. And I don't give a damn... They don't like me. I don't give a damn how they react to this video. Oh, well, I said what I said. I still love T.S. Madison, but I keep it real. You don't like it? Oh, well, what can I tell you? I'm not... This is why I ain't get put on yet. I don't know how to be fake... Hi. No, I'm going I love you, but I'm gonna tell you what I feel. You can tell me how you feel about me. I don't give a fuck. I'm still going to do me. All right, moving on. But do you all get what I'm saying? Like you don't know when something's gonna happen to you. Like I was reading somewhere in the Bronx that the guy was walking his dog, and one of these little dumb idiot gang members was shooting his gun, and he aimed the gun at the wrong person. He shot the guy who was shooting his, walking his dog. You don't know where you're going to die. What do you think? The guy the guy knew that this guy was going to pull his gun out and shoot. He told T.S. man he was supposed to take his gun out and shoot the other guy. You don't know when something's going to happen to you. Alright, so, um, you know, I prepped this show a couple of days ahead before I actually do it. So, as I was prepping this Nicki Minaj story, uh, she actually didn't tweet or s say nothing now that I'm doing a show now, she has tweeted. So, I'm going to say what I prepped and then I'll talk about what she tweeted. So, basically what I said was, Nicki Minaj, wherever you are, please stay there. You don't need to come back ever again. You can just stay quiet. You can stay. But I'm joking. But I'm really not. Okay, earlier this year, Chris Brown announced that he and Nicki Minaj was going on some uh, Wobble Wobble tour. Some tour. I, I don't know this tour was going on. Uh, well, recently, Chris Brown posted a flyer on his social media account promoting the tour. And Nicki Minaj is nowhere on the flyer, on the, on the card, on the bill. And all her dumb fans are wondering what happened to her. And her barbs are worried. And basically, I said, obviously, the bitch is pregnant. And if she is pregnant, you know she giving a birth to a, a girl. Because all the female rappers give birth to nothing but girls. Think about it. Foxy Brown gave birth to her little child, which is a girl. What's her name? Baby C. Little Kim gave birth to uh, Roy Rain. Uh, Cardi B gave birth to uh, Coltra, which is a girl. And Remy Ma gave birth to the, the golden child. So if Nicki Minaj is pregnant, I... She's giving birth to a girl. But somebody said, no, Nikki only has sons. You barbs make me sick. Anyway. Oh, I say if she's not pregnant, she's depressed because Cardi B is killing the game. And she probably don't no female rapper will come and top her. But like I said, I prepped the show prior. But since then, Nikki has uh come out of hiding and she's about to release some new music called Megatron. Um, I don't give a damn. I 
don't like her. I'm, I just don't like Nicki Minaj. I don't know. I, I just don't like her. So I, I don't care. But I'm pretty sure her little barbs are happy that she's releasing. But I will say, um, she looks good. She put some picture up and it looks like she lost some weight. Some weight that little Kim can use to little Kim can lose too. Nikki has lost some weight. She looks good. I'll give her that. Um, but I'm not I mean I'm going to listen to what she's gonna put out, you know, and I'll I'll let you all know how I feel after I hear this Megatron because she's done this before. She went quiet for like four months and then she was we was expecting this big comeback and it was like this is why you was you was going for so long for this. But anyway, baby, my mind is on them tacos, and I am watching this movie tonight while I eat the tacos. I meant to go see this in the uh, movie theater, but I was in Target. Happy Death Day to you. I saw the first one. Uh, this is uh, yeah, this is the second one. Oh, I can't wait to watch this. I can't wait to watch. Let me hear you with this show, baby. Got my tacos and afterwards, it's been a good day so far. Let's see if I can end it on a banger. Um, all right, all right, I don't care about this Nicki Minaj no more. Let's move on. Um, like I said, shout out to Little Kim. Little Kim, um, she's also releasing her new album, hopefully, this year, Nine. And she also has a new TV show that's premiering on my birthday, July 15th, on VH1. It's something called some boat ride or some boat trip. Something with Chili and Maya. I'm going to check it out. I feel like that's a nice, like, all I want for my birthday this year is to eat some lasagna for my mama. And I want some uh, Carvel cake and some good dick. And this little Kim show. My, my birthday's made. I don't need all that. In the climb, I'll be dirty for this year. I want all that extra shit. I'm good. That's it. Um, so, I hope you're all interested in uh, watching this little Kim show. And as we are continuing with the female rappers, Cardi B said she will never undergo plastic surgery ever again. I don't know if you all saw that picture that Cardi B posted of her feet, them toes, that them, them, that feet, uh, it's always side effects. That's what I love about Cardi B. She shows you all of it. All these bitches out here with these fake bodies, they don't show you uh, everything. They only show you what they want to show you. Cardi B, did you see them, them her ankles and her feet? Did you see her feet? But Cardi B says she's not doing no more surgery. She said enough is enough. Right. Right. All right. Uh, we're going to go on to Lee Daniels. Story about the Jesse Omelette. Let me just find the story real quick, you guys. Give me a second. Give me a second. Alright, so Lee Daniels said he is no longer talking to Jesse Omelette. I don't know if you remember back in January, Lee Daniels was the first person to jump to actor Jesse Omelette defense after he claimed to have been attacked by the racist homophobes in Chicago and later turned out to be a hoax. Lee admits he is beyond embarrassed and he stopped talking to Jesse. Uh, he told Vulture, I'm beyond embarrassed. I think that when it happened, I had a flash of me running for my bullies. I had a flash of my whole life, of my childhood, my youth getting beaten. Of course, there's some doubt. I'm telling you that because I love him so much. That's the torture that's in me right now. Because it literally, if it were happened to your son and your child, how would you feel? You will feel, please, God, please let there be a glimmer of hope that there is some truth to this story. That's why it's so painful. It was a flood of pain. We were in there. I can't judge him. The only fucking lady or man which black robe and God can judge him. I had to detach myself and stop calling him because it was taking away the time I had for my kids and for my partner. And do you think they was fucking? I think Lee Daniels and Jesse Omelette got their fuck. All right, honey. Who do you think was the bottom? I'm trying to picture Jesse Omelette being a bottom. I'm trying to no. I think Jesse Omelette was the top. And I think Lee Daniels was on. I really want to have a personality like Lee Daniels. Lee Daniels look like he gets any dude he wants. 
and some gay dudes that could just get anybody. But that's not my gift. My gift is this. So whatever your gift is, you need to be happy and use your gift. You can't worry about the next person's gift. Your gift is your gift. This is my gift to entertain you guys. My gift is not to get... I mean, don't get me wrong. I give me some dudes. But I just feel like Lee Daniels has like that... That something. I don't know. But do you think them two was fucking... And I just feel like Jesse Omelette... You need to just disappear for like two years. You need to go find you a rich white man and you need to live off his money and just disappear from the whole from the whole public eye and reappear in two years because in two years this is all gonna be forgotten. No one's gonna remember nothing about nothing. And you need to come out with a whole new look. Take all that old jerry curl, whatever you got in your hand, omelet. You need to come back with some dreads. And make your body. You need to just come back different. And I guarantee you, people's gonna forget about all this that's went on. You need to go find your first. Go find your right, your, your white rich husband. All right, take some time off and then come back. All right. Um, shout out to all you men out there who loves going to jail. There's some men out there who just can't stay out of jail. And you ladies, why is my man always in jail, girl? Because when these men go to jail, that's when they can be themselves, honey. So I want to shout out to Apollo Nida. He's so fun, but he's so dumb. I don't know if you guys heard, but Apollo Nida was sent back to prison for having unauthorized sexual activity in the halfway house, baby. Real Housewives of Atlanta star Apollo Nido was sent back to prison for violating the terms of his uh, of his parole while serving the remainder of his sentence in a Philadelphia halfway house. I wonder if that was the same halfway house Cookie Tookie was in. Shout out to Cookie Tookie. I love her. Samantha James is another one I love. Cookie Tookie, you just can't get it together, child. She just can't. I mean, I can't get it together either, but... I know how to control my situation just a little bit. You don't see me in and out of jail, even though I want to go to prison. But cookie took your shit. Anyway, Apollo, who is 40 and fine, was released from prison to a halfway house on Tuesday after serving five years and his of his eight-year sentence for identity theft. And he was scheduled to be released in October. The Blast reports that Apollo was rearrested by the United States Marshals <laughs> for violating the terms of his probation. Apollo had a list of rules to follow while living in a halfway house, and he reportedly broke the rules by having intimate relations in the halfway house. Most halfway houses allow vid uh, visitors only in specific areas of the building. Some halfway houses do not allow visitors at all. Soon after entering the halfway house on May 4th, Apollo was spotted strolling around the neighborhood arm in arm with his new fiance, who was a frequent visitor to the halfway house. It isn't clear if the intimate partner was his new fiance or another resident of the halfway house. The reality star was taken into custody at the Philadelphia Federal Courthouse and placed back into the prison system. He could now remain behind bars until his original release date of October 15, 2019. You all seen him eating that pickle, right? Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Stuff like that turns me on. Like, I don't need to actually watch porn. You know, when I'm playing with myself. I could just watch certain things that could make me come. Like him sucking on that pickle. Like, I also have a video of this guy. And he is sucking this, these women. He's sucking this, some, I don't know if it's a man or a woman. But he's sucking somebody's toes. And the way he is sucking them toes, honey, when I can't find good porn or when I can't find something to make me, mm -mm -mm, baby, I'll just go right to that video and just watch him suck them toes. Y'all want to see that video? Where can I post it at? Because I don't know if I can post it on Instagram. All right. I'm going to put it on. Mm, can I put it on my Facebook? I mean, it's not really like, you know, 
like nasty. It's just, I, where can I post that? All right, I know where I'm gonna post it. Go to my Instagram. I'm going to post it, not my Bimbo Winehouse Instagram, but go to, look below this video, right? Look below, when it says show more, it's going to show donations to Bimbo, which I hope some of you all can donate something. Uh, bitch is broke, so if you could donate $20 this week, baby, help me bitch out. Um, but look below the donations. I'm going to post the Instagram link where I'm going to post the video of the guy sucking toes. And if you watch it, leave some comments. Because the way he's sucking them toes, honey, you know he know how to suck a mean dick. That video makes me come all the time. So anyway, back to Apollo. People were saying that he probably has a boyfriend and a oh, girlfriend. Boyfriend. Girlfriend. Boyfriend in prison. Like most of these men do. Prison and jail is where these men, they really get to be themselves without being judged. Because all, most of the other inmates are doing the same thing. So, I would like to go to jail for like a day or two. No, prison. No, prison is when you're doing some hard times. No, I don't. Let me get my, yes I do, but no I don't. But yes I do. I just want to see what goes on. But knowing me, I'll just go in here and just ignore everybody. I'll be so anti-social, just what? All right, knees, leave me alone. What? I, don't talk to me. I'm just anti-social everywhere. <sighs> Who's been in prison? Can someone email me, Bimbo Winehouse? Give me a story. Did you suck a dick in there? What's going on up in that prison cell? I need to know. Why do Apollo? Why do these men keep going to these back to prisons? Don't get me wrong. I get that life is hard, and when you get out of prison. You gotta go on these job interviews. You gotta do this. I get that part. Prison is probably just much easier. You know, you get free food. You got a free place to stay. Free ass, free dick. Don't judge me. But shout out to Apollo Nida. He is fine. It's always them fine ones, y'all. That'd be dumb. Dumb, dumb, and dumber. All right, we got what two more stories, and then uh, no, one more story, one more story, honey. And that is a Wendy Williams drama. Um, I want to shout out to Tasha K. Unwind with Tasha K. I don't know if you guys watch her on YouTube. Um, she called her, her her watchers, her supporters, she called them winos. Like Winehouse, she called them winos. I wonder where she got that name from. And not only that, Sister Patterson, she has a teddy bear in the back. What she called him, Teddy? I wonder where she got that. And, and the teddy don't do, he just looks drunk all and he sits in the back. I wonder where she got that idea from. It's all good. People take ideas from everywhere. You know, I wasn't doing shit. I ain't nobody. She's she's she's, she's very popular. So shout out to Tasha K. Do your thing, girl. If you you know if you ever want to co-host, just give me a holler. I like Tasha K. I I can sit and watch her her stuff. And I must say, Tasha K. Um, she's been right so far about this whole Wendy Williams mess. She was actually the first person that confirmed that Kevin Hunter was having another baby. Uh, she, she basically put uh, Sharina's, Nikki's names, uh, name out there. She called, like she's been really, she's been the go-to person about this whole Wendy Williams drama with her husband, Kevin Hunter. And the latest thing that she's saying is that it's all fake. Everything is fake. That Wendy and her husband are still fucking. Um, and this Wendy's new boyfriend is just a lie. You know, it's just to make it look like that. She's really not with Kevin Hunter no more. And um, that her ratings were like going down. So they came to her when he was like, you got to do something. You're going to get canceled if these ratings don't go shoot back up. So they had to do something. They had to do something. And this is what they did. Now everyone's talking about Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. And we're watching like I'm back watching. I mean I don't watch it like that. But I keep in there just to see what she gonna say. And you know, she had to do something. So I don't know if all this is fake, but I'm a little over it at this 
point. This whole Wendy and Kevin Hunter, it, it, it's a little, it's getting a little like, all right, all right, what's next on here? You know, it's, it's getting to the point. But the latest is that Wendy's husband said that Wendy was lazy. Uh, he, she never wanted to go out. Which I could believe. He said Wendy had a schedule where she just wanted to go do her show and go home and eat and lay in the bed. And uh, she never wanted to do red carpets. She never wanted to go out. And I believe it. But I also believe Wendy didn't want to go out because you were so damn controlling. You was very controlling. And what was the point of going out? Anyone that tried to get close to Wendy, Kevin Hunter snatched her. Like, I remember one time in 2013, and I'm, I was trying to think why me and Wendy stopped talking, and come to, and, and I realized it was because of her husband. You know, back then, I had said some things about her husband. Had I been the person I am now, I would have been like, show me. I would have said a goddamn thing. That's between you two, and that's not my business. Like, I really wish I was the person now. I am back in 2000, and them good times when I was like, big known um so i was thinking like the reason me her she stopped fucking with me is because of her husband um you know i said some things because they did a movie which i was a part and a couple of actresses told me that kevin hunter back then was trying to sleep with them so my dumb ass takes it and i go report it and wendy and her husband got a hold of the tea they was like them both cut off and i'm like why and i'm like you dumbass. Wendy was trying to help you. Maybe she knew what was going on. Like I said, I wish I was the mature person I am now. Because back then I was sloppy and young and dumb and just, you know, but whatever. It is what it is. Um, so I was thinking while me and her stopped talking, it was because of her husband. But anyway, he's basically saying that. Oh, 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 I know what it was. I remember back in 2013, she hosted a gay pride event. So I went and drag and I went backstage the promoter took me backstage and was like Bimbo's here and I heard Wendy go ooh and then the, hus the husband goes uh uh nah we don't want him back here da 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 so the promoter uh, I don't know if you remember this I told you all about this but the promoter was like Bimbo they don't want you back here I was like alright bye so I walked went right to the stage Wendy came out I went over to her oh the husband comes Kevin Hunter Grabs Wendy. It was a it was a big thing. Whatever. My head is hurting around this mess. It's just so much. I will say this, Wendy. These past few weeks that you've been out has reminded me of Whitney Houston. You all remember right before Whitney Houston passed away, she was everywhere acting a fool, just showing up to random places, getting into fights, just all over the news and I swear these past two weeks watching Wendy with this new boo and with China and the car it's just reminded it, it, it makes it makes me look like Whitney Houston 2.0 like we're seeing Whitney Houston right before she passed that's what it's kind of reminding me of I don't know what it's just reminding me you all remember right before Whitney Houston passed how she was acting that week a mess Messing with young men, raging. So anyway, they're saying that uh, Wendy's new boo, who Tasha K is alleged, this is all fake. He's being paid to pretend that he's with Whitney, uh, Wendy, but his name is Mark Tomlin. He's fine, and he looks very much like Kevin Hunter. So Wendy has a type. If this is real, and they're saying he's 28 years old and he's a fashion designer. I googled his fashions. I ain't seen nothing. They also said that he was in prison for two years and uh, Wendy does not care. You know, Wendy, she old. Hey, I love me a hood dude too, honey. I, and I like me a younger dude too. So I, I I get it. I get it, sis. But they said she don't care. They said she's out here. She's spending her coins on this man. You know what? Hey, you got you got the money. Why not? Like, the key to my heart all I need is money and some good dick. That makes me happy. So maybe this dude and someone 
who laughs at my little corny jokes. Like, I'm pretty sure he's probably just laughing at, you know, I don't, like, I don't know what this thing is. I don't know if this even thing is real. Like, Tasha K, I don't know if this is real. Where do you need it to get back a good grace of her fans? So, I don't, I don't even know if this whole thing is real. Wendy could just be, I, I don't know. We all don't know what's going on because if she's fronting, she's a damn good actor because this whole situation is very believable. Everything. When I saw her in that car crying with that dude after he was getting info from Roscoe's and she started pouring them tears, that, that was real. I don't give a damn what you say. She was drunk too. Them tears was real. So I don't know what to believe about this whole Wendy situation, this Kevin situation. You know, he's called her lazy. And then he said, oh, she said I was with my uh, my mistress for 15 years. No, it was 11. What the, what, what the fuck are you talking about? I, I, it's just too much going on. So I don't know. What do you all believe? Do you believe this thing is real? You think, you think it's just a ploy to get people to watch a show again? You know, I, I, I don't know at this point. I don't know. Do you think she's really fucking him? This this Mark dude or what do you all think? Because at this point, I'm we just gotta keep watching the story unfold. Like I, I, however, I did say I do want to see a life story movie. She needs a lifetime or a BET two night special on her life from the first season of her show to now. Cause it's a whole, it's a whole lie. I, I we need to see the truth. I don't want to see no one hour special or no. I don't want to see none of that shit. I want to see a two night life story. And I want to see everything. Tell your story, sister, and write a book. That's what we want. Um. So yeah, I have no more to say about this. We just gotta keep watching because I'm pretty sure next week we're gonna hear some more shit about this whole drama. I mean, I believe it, but. When you are used to being on daytime TV, getting 15 million a season, and your bosses come to you and say, You might be canceled, sis. You better do something. Oh, I will do everything that Wendy's doing too, honey. Um, husband, we need to act like we get a divorce. I need you to act like you're my uh, motherfucking boyfriend. I need to go hang out with these bitches, Black China and the Kardashians. We gotta get this show rolling. So, I mean, it's Hollywood, it, it's entertainment, baby. Oh. Alright you guys, the show is almost over, but it's now, hold on, <coughs> it is 11 o'clock, oh my god, I gotta eat these tacos, I gotta watch this movie, I got, I got, I got a lot of stuff to do honey, I got a lot of stuff to do, so we gotta get to the uh, Sister Patterson's coochie question of the day, and then that's going to be your show, Miss Thing. All right, Sister Patterson, you ready? All right, let's go. Hey, Wait. Coochie. Coochie. Sister Patterson, Coochie. You like that? It's a song for every occasion, honey. All right, you all. We are no longer pulling the questions out of her coochie because I've been smelling fish, honey. I want to smell no fish, bitch. All right, I'm joking. Coochie cat, she she got a nice shave, coochie. I told you, bitches out there, shave after this video. If you got hair on your coochie, bitch, shave it off. Come here, shave that old nasty coochie. All right, it's time for Sister Patterson's coochie question of the day. And this is very personal to me because I listen to each of these albums at least once a week. Uh, each of these albums, they're very personal to me. But if six of these albums were drowning and you could only save two because you got two hands and the rest were dead for life, you cannot listen to the rest of these albums for the rest of your life. You can only listen to the other two that you saved. Which two of these albums are you saving? And these are my top six faves. I listen to these albums at least once a week. One of them. And what I like about these albums is that you can listen to them from beginning to end. It might be a song or two that you might have to skip over. Like, uh, but 
for the majority of the part, you can listen to the full albums. Are you ready? Number one is Toni Braxton's Breathe Again album. Wait, her first album. No, it's not just Toni Braxton's first album. With seven whole days, an hour, and breathe again. What? So Tony's first album, or is it Keisha Cole's first album, The Way It Is, with love? What? Down the dirty, I want to play, you want to play, let's get, get down and dirty, baby. Or is it Faith Evans' first album? Baby, that Faith, that Faith Evans' first album. That was a classic, baby. Soon as I get home. Number four, Mary J. Blige. My life. That's it. That's all I gotta say. My life album. What? I listen to I Never Wanna Live Without You, Baby. I wanna Mary's Joints. I know what what or is it going to be Kelly Price soul of I love Kelly Price soul of a woman album uh, she was my best friend oh yeah or a lot of you all may know about this album but shout out to all my old school I listen to Adina's Howard do You Want to Ride album. That was a classic. I don't give a damn what none of you hoes say. Adina Howard, Do You Want to Ride, Freak Like Me, My Ups and Downs, What? Do You Want to Be My Nigga, And I Could Be Your Girl, What? Or the actual song, Do You Want to Ride, Do You Want to, Uh, Uh, Uh. Alright, so like I said, this is Sister Patterson's Coochie Question of the Day. You can only pick Two of these albums. You got two hands. You can only save two. I'll be the first to answer since this, this, you know, since this is very personal to me. Any true Bimbo Winehouse fan knows the first album I'm saying. You already know. Say it with me. If you're a true Bimbo fan, you're going to know what it is. Mary, you know I'm saying Mary J. Blige. For, my, are you crazy? I never want to live without you. My favorite Mary J. Blige song of all time, which I'm about to listen to when I end this show, when I clean this room, eat my tacos, and watch my movie, Happy Death Day 2, bitch. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Are you crazy? I am saving Mary J. Blige, my life album. That is a classic. And shout out to Mary J. Blige. Now I have a reason to watch the BT Awards because BT is giving Mary J. Blige some big award. I don't know what this award's about. It's some big award. So... I don't know who's going to present it to her. I don't know who's going to sing her songs. I don't know who's going to do her dance moves. Because only Mary can do them. So, I'm going to watch the BT Awards. I'm going to be in a hotel room with my drink. Oh, I cannot wait. I'm going to be chilling. I'm chilling. Yeah. So, um, of course, Mary J. Blige, my life album. And this was a hard one. The second one, I was like... I love Tony Braxton's first album, Breathe Again. What? Seven whole days. And I, then I said I love Keisha Cole's first album. Then I said I love Faith Evans' first album. Then I said I love Kelly Price's first album. I got a secret. It's here in my heart. And then I said I love that Adina's Howard first album. Oh, 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 oh. Darling, you. Hey, been one want style. And then, uh, 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 so, with Mary J. Blige, my life, I had to choose. This was a hard one because I love, I wish I could save all these bitches, but I only got two hands. You bitches is heavy. So, of course, Mary, you coming up here, bitch. Mary's here. And next to Mary, I had to choose ah, Faith Evans' first album. I, she has a song called You Don't Understand. I don't know if you ever heard it. You need to all listen to this song by Faith Evans. Go to After you finish this video, go and send me a little something or uh, Cash App or GoFundMe or PayPal or $20. Um, after y'all do all that, if you can, please, thank you. Um, 
y'all need to go listen to Faith Evans' song. You, that's the song that made me choose Faith. So look, bitch, the reason you are here with Mary is because of that song you don't understand. Because it would have been Tony, would have been Keisha, would have been Adina Howard. Love you, bitches, but y'all should make some better songs, Miss Thing. But those are my two choices. This is Sister Patterson's question of the day. She don't answer these questions. I don't know why, but fuck her. What is your choice? Like I said, it's Tony, it's Keisha, it's Faith, it's Mary, it's Kelly. You can only save two of these bitches. Only two. Okay, I don't need some of y'all. Oh, I got my girlfriend. Help me pick. No, your girlfriends ain't picking up nobody else. It's two. You got two hands. Pick two of these bitches. So let me know. Your two. Uh, Sister Patterson's coochie question of the day. Who are you choosing? Like I said, it's Mary, of course, and Faith. Bye, Tony. Bye, Keisha. Bye, Kelly. Bye, D. I love you. Mm -mm. But these, uh -mm. All right. That's the question of the day. And before I go, um... It's Gay Pride all, all month June, but it's also Gay Pride We Care this week in Columbus. And somebody asked me if I'm doing anything. Uh, no. If I ain't go in New York and do, do shit for Gay Pride, I'm not I, I'm not doing shit for it. Hey, I mean, shout out to all the gays who celebrate Gay Pride because you straight people. Why do they have to have Gay Pride? Because you idiots always got something to say about gay people. So, that's our motherfucking pride, bitch, okay? When we go outside and dress how we want to dress, and, and act how we, we all get looked at, like, we fucking uh, monsters or something, and, and you all can just go outside and just be your fucking self without people looking at y'all all crazy and acting all crazy. That's the mother that's what the fuck pride is about, okay? You can kiss in public, but unless you see two men kissing, oh, my kids, bitch, fuck your kids, bitch. Your children gonna end up gay or straight. Whatever the fuck they gonna be, love them, bitch, okay? Oh, my God, my kids, the kids, the kids. Fuck them kids. Your kids is doing more shit than you know. I'm so sick of you motherfuckers about these kids. Listen, two men kissing can't make your child gay, bitch, okay? My whole life, I grew up watching Martin and Gina kissing. I grew up watching the fucking Family Matters and everybody else kiss. I turned out to suck dick, bitch. Okay, I'm so sick of you motherfuckers talking about, oh, my kids can't see two gay people. You idiots were born this way. You dummy were born this way. You ain't gonna believe it because you're straight. Just like you were born straight, some of you all who get gay at night. I'm talking about real gay people like me. Not you fake, wanna be gay and straight. I'm talking about we're born this way. Get it through your head, idiot. Live and let live, okay? So that's the reason why we they, they have gay pride. I'm not doing this shit. Oh, the reason I wanted to say that is because... So let me make a let me just make a jack profile. So I made a jack. This is why I don't mess with the gays. Oh, I cannot stand you just regular gay dudes. Oh, all I'm seeing looking for masculine men. I want masculine, no fats, no fems. And then I read on one dude profile, yo, if, if we out in public, uh, if people if people could tell you gay, yo, don't hit me up. <laughs> This is why I don't have no gay friend. This is why I don't deal with the gay. This is why I just mess with my DL men who mess with trannies and shit and drag queens and, and we do what we doing. We keep it moving. You gay dudes are too much. Shout out to all you fat gay men and you feminine gay men. They don't like that. So my advice to you, you put a wig on and, and you, you dress up like a girl, drag queen or what the fuck you want to call it tranny and you get your man to keep it the fuck moving because these these gays out here they are retards i can't do it i deleted my profile so quick no i started getting messages is this the real bimbo What the, 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 why do y'all know me out here i i just deleted it all i was just like turned off what the fuck is this masculine 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 it, this is why i say to myself i can't i can't do it i can't gay men are just y'all can have that i get to my men's and that's it i'm good so, shout out to everyone. Happy Gay Pride. Good luck in this gay scene because I don't do it. I don't do all that. I'm good. But you guys, I got to go. That was the show. Like I said, if you want to send me a little something, something, you can. The information is below. Whatever you can send, five, ten dollars, bitch. All right, I'm doing okay, but I'm not where I need to be. And by the next show, I'm going to start a GoFundMe, hopefully, because I'm... Um, We'll talk about it, and I'm, I'm going to have that story that I shared with my friend Chinchilla that I'm going to tell you all. We'll start that off with the next show, which should be on Tuesday. Looking at my schedule. Yeah, Tuesday. So I love you all for watching. Remember to answer Sister Patterson Coochie question of the day. Like, subscribe, share this video. Um, and 
live your best life. And let me know what you think about the show today, all right? I got to eat my tacos, bitch. I, I got to dish. I got to watch this movie. I got a lot of stuff to do, bitches. I'll talk to you all on the next show. A walker walker and the ew, ew. Boy.